ETH Aachen University is a comprehensive university. The core activities are engineering and science. There are uh, 28,000 students at uh, RWTH Aachen. One thing which is very special with Aachen is that you will find on one side history, centuries old, and just a doorway away you will find cutting-edge technology. Aachen University, a look inside. The first steps of uh, Aachen University were in the 1860s when uh, it was discussed here in the Rhineland to build up a new university. In those days it was really technology, it was uh, the steel industry which was uh, the big foundation and uh, you have to imagine at the time this sort of university came up, which in fact in Germany was called a Technische Hochschule, which was a difference to a university, historically speaking. Uh, there was this technology which had to be developed. Uh, people needed technology. There was a sort of discussion between Cologne, for example, and Aachen, but in the end, the university was founded here in Aachen, uh, beginning with the year 1870. To find Aachen on a map, you just look for the cross points of Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany. And there, beneath the, the three country point, there's the city of Aachen. It's not too far away from the big cities like Cologne or Düsseldorf, and um, so it's uh, in in the middle of in the middle of Europe. One fifth of the people of Aachen are students, so it's um, they have a major impress on the atmosphere of Aachen. For example, there are a lot of cafes and uh, on on the. On the streets there are a lot of students, you can see young faces everywhere, it's really nice to be here a young student. Uh, you have these students which are very unconventional, which are full of boiling ideas. So this gives you an atmosphere where Aachen is uh, a melting pot of new ideas and um, there is no fear about these ideas. You really want to try things. Aachen University is scattered all over the city. There is no campus. You can have it in the middle of Aachen, near the marketplace. The institute is built a little bit outside of the city of Aachen. And so we have the test track here nearby. And we have our facilities with test benches and even some lecturer rooms. The second car is following the first car automatically uh, and so you can imagine we will have a row on the highway that one car is first and all the others are running behind and they are controlling distance and velocity uh, automatically so that head-on collisions are avoided. Aachen University covers uh, all fields but uh, our core activities, our majors so to speak, are engineering and science and all the other fields are connected with them. For example, medicine, uh, we combine medicine with engineering and uh, we combine science with engineering and uh, we combine even philosophy with engineering. I have to guess for what I got the Leibniz Prize. I would say it's probably most of it is my recent work on the mathematical foundations of so-called adaptive methods. My original interests were more on the theoretical side of, say, applied analysis or numerical analysis, which has always a strong application component. But uh, here I found a special 
opportunity to combine this with practical applications, to have a kind of a complementary expertise on the other side of the fence, I usually used to know. And this collaboration I found very fruitful and very inspiring. The whole area here is sort of very used to having international exchange simply because of the closeness of the, of the borders. But also because of the tradition of the university who has been attracting people from foreign countries for a long time. A lot of international firms are coming to the Aachen University to find corporations. These firms have an international network to the United States, to uh, countries in Asia or even other parts of Europe. And so Aachen is known, that is to say so, public relation for Aachen, but uh, it's uh, at the same time an economic uh, value. There are a lot of spin-offs coming out of that technical university. We offered special courses, for example, for students uh, who want uh, to be independent, to establish their own company. We help them in the very beginning and we try to support them afterwards by offering cooperation and so on. We got the experience that um, the former students, uh, the graduates of our universities, are of great importance for the development of our university in the future. We have a lot of uh, famous uh, alumni, uh, for example, the former president of Indonesia, Habibi. Returning to Aachen is like returning to my past, which means returning to the days of where I was a student, which I had, uh, where, where I had all these dreams. So it's basically returning back to this very important episode of having dreams, and this is a lovely feeling. After their studies, uh, students often want uh, to do something else, and uh, I guess that's very important. So we offer a lot of things like um, a symphony orchestra, a cinema, and so on. Another spectacular thing is the flying group. We have a group here at the, the university that um, built their own planes, and they fly them for their own. So you have a lot of work to do, but then flying is for free. Aachen is a very lively university with a lot of hard-working students. It takes a lot of energy and if somebody um, has the guts to take up this challenge, this is the right place to go. A Korean newspaper wrote that uh, Aachen University is the MIT of Europe. At the end, you get out, get to another city, get into your job, and somebody tells you, Aachen? And they say, wow.